All right, guys. So today we got the posters for Mortal Kombat that releases in April 16, the movie. And we finally got what they're going to look like. And let me tell you, from what I've seen so far, it's looking pretty damn good. So I'm not going to waste any more of your time. And let's start. Let me play this. Let's go through them. So obviously you see here we got Jack Briggs. This is Jax. See the arm going. I mean, what else could you want? The guy, he has the look. And that's one thing I was really hoping for that they really kind of just at least give us the satisfaction of us seeing these characters in the right costumes. Like costumes were a big part of is a big part of this movie. And a lot of people really want to see them uh, represented the right way. So just by Jax is looking. I'm already you got my thumbs up for that one. So now this is the one that a lot of people are kind of just not really happy with. Um, and I can agree with them. He doesn't have that armor, like that little robotic piece on his arm. But it does look like his skin, either he got scratched or something. Or maybe as the show goes on, he's going to get that part of the skin off. And you're going to see that, um, that little armor, that little robotic eye patch that he's known for. And I honestly, I think that's what they're going to do. Why else will they have that scratch already on the picture? And here we get Kong Lao, which, you know, at first I thought it was Raiden. But man, Kong Lao was, was one of my favorites to play as him. I would, I wouldn't say dominate. But I would be pretty good with him. And he's looking great. I'm loving this. My excitement level is increasing. But, um, man, it just looks good. Then we get Liu Kang. Liu Kang looks good. I mean, look at him. He's got a little fireball. We're going to see him utilizing that. I wonder if he's going to turn to a dragon. <laughs> <laughs> I'll be happy if they don't. But I definitely want to see him jump across the room and start kicking somebody. But this like that. Ow, ow, ow. Definitely another good one. Great job on the costume on him. Let me get Melina. Uh, if I am correct, this is the girl that's mouth opens. And she just looks scary. It'll look beautiful, but then she'll get you. Um, I think she wears like a cover up and then she takes it off or something like that. But, um, this one's looking good. Don't really remember how sh Melina looked, but, uh, I'm liking it. I'm liking it. Then we get Raiden. I wasn't thinking they were going to show Raiden. Mortal Kombat. Man, look at the... You got the white eyes. This is trademark. You have to have Raiden with the white eyes. I mean, you got to. Then you got his stick. You got, like, the lightning bolt coming off of it. They did a good job with the helmet. I mean, his, his hat. His outfit looks good. They, they all seem to have that armor. Like the little football pads, those paddings that goes all the way down, I think to the shoulder. I wonder if that's like a, the armor that everybody wears. I was looking good, happy with them. Scorpion is the one that I was waiting for. And this, this 
image of him. Ah, oh, man, it, it, it's looking great. It's looking really good. He looks like he's going to look it. If you look at his eyes, they're like yellow, fiery. I wonder if he's going to have those white eyes. Or if he's just going to have this. Because right on this image, this still, this poster is just, you know, they added all these effects. So I don't know if the eyes are part of the effect that's being added. And when he's not surrounded with fire, he has that uh, white eyes. Maybe when he uses his powers, he, his eyes turn on fire. But man, look at this. Look at the shoulders. You got the spikes on it. He's looking a lot like the character. I'm very happy with the way they, they, they're, they're doing him. They're paying a lot of homage to the, um, the cartoon, the, the movie that came out. God damn, I, f I forgot the name of the movie, but it was the Scorpion and Sub-Zero movie. The Revenge, Scorpion's Revenge. There it is. Bam. It's looking great. God damn. I'm excited for this movie. I was getting worried there for a second. I was like, Mortal Kombat? Like, the people you that's making Mortal Kombat, you guys ain't showing me shit. You ain't showing me shit. You guys showed me some stills and shit, but I wasn't... I gotta see more. I gotta see more. And this is definitely something that's that shut me up because it's like, holy shit, we just didn't get a couple posters. We got a poster for each one. I feel like this is what they're all the people that are gonna be in it. It's a low budget movie. I would, you know, it would make sense for them to have like only a handful of the characters and and really focus more on the the story and the fighting. So. From from what I'm seeing, it looks like the costumes are really. They did a great job with the costumes. The costumes, great job. We got Shang Song. Damn, we got Shang Song. Shang Song. Is this the same guy that played Shang Song in the other movie? Looks like him. Man, I'm really liking the outfit. I don't know if he wore this. In any of the stuff, because I'm, sh I think he had like something that showed his chest. Um, but definitely magic is gonna be a big part of this. We're gonna see them use their powers more. I want to see more of that. I'm liking this outfit. I can't really say because like I'm trying to picture him in my head, and I'm picturing him with like some type of vest or some shit like that. You know, something with showing his chest. But it's looking good. I like it. Sonya Blade. I mean, you can't go wrong with her. She got to put a tank top, some camo pants, some military pants or some shit like that, some boots. Put them little gloves on. Ponytail. Blonde hair. That's pretty much it. For her. Plus, we already saw her in the stills, so. And then here we have Sub-Zero. Then they did a really good job with Sub-Zero. Um, the only thing that I have to say is that it looks like their armor on the arm is a little big. You know what I mean? Like, it's very, they're going to look like samurais. So I'm wondering what's, I wonder if they, this is them fully armored out and they kind of like take some of that armor off and they have like some tight black tight. I think that would, that's, I think that's what he has. He has like some black tight, um, kind of a spandex thing on his arm. But man, look at this. He's got a sword. I'm loving it. I'm loving it. And the trailer is coming out tomorrow. This is, uh, man, they got to get the fighting down. They got the costumes down. It looks like the costumes are going to be exactly what people were hoping for. Maybe some people out there are maybe not going to be happy. 
but I'm happy with it. They really need to get the fighting down. And the story, I know it could be difficult to kind of put something together, but honestly, if you go with the Scorpion and sub Zeros, like the Revenge of Scorpion storyline that we saw adapted into the an animation movie, if we saw that kind of play a big role in this movie, it's going to be good. It's going to be good. Because we want that revenge. Like We want Scorpion's family to get slaughtered only for Scorpion to get killed and then come back and really kick some ass. Because that's what the cartoon was about. So, you know, that Sub-Zero was a bad one. He was the bad. He was like a bad guy. He came. His clan came into Scorpion's village, slaughtered everybody at night. And uh, including his uh, Scorpion's wife and kids. Scorpion didn't have no powers at this time. He didn't have nothing. He was just a normal guy. And he came back, saw what they did, and he fought Sub Zero and he lost. And Sub Zero already had that, like, that, that, uh, the, the powers of, you know, freezing shit. Ended up killing Scorpion. Left him to die. And he died and he went to hell. Then when he went to hell, he made an agreement. I think the the agreement to join the tournament. And he came back. But when he came back, he was full on Scorpion. And he had like this, all all what, you know, what Scorpion's known for. And that's all I'm going to say about the movie because I don't want to ruin it for you guys. But definitely check out the Scorpion's Revenge. If they do that storyline to this movie oh my god because i remember watching the cart like the cartoons the series and um there's like there was like two scorpions it was a the 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 scorpion that's bad which i think it's this guy and then there was a scorpion that was good who had like no mask and he had like a little cut on his eye and no no no, i mean a a sub-zero that was bad and a sub-zero that was good my bad my bad in the cart in the old cartoon. If you guys remember that name of that cartoon, I can't really remember it, but put that on the comments below if you remember that. But it was the uh, in that cartoon we had that new younger Sub Zero. He was a good guy. He was with the good guys, and Scorpion doesn't know that this new Sub Zero is good. He thinks that that's the Sub Zero that killed his family. So every time Scorpion would run into them, it was like, well, Scorpion's a bad dude because he was trying to kill him. But he honestly, he was trying to kill the wrongs. Sub-Zero. I wonder if Jake Cole or that Cole guy, that new character is going to be that Sub-Zero. We don't know his powers. Maybe he's going to be something like that. I don't know. If it is, I already had like a video about that uh, earlier this month. Um, And if they do that, my mind's gonna blow up it's gonna be crazy shit's gonna go crazy i'm gonna faint like two times i'm gonna faint wake up and faint again that's how bad i'm gonna freak out if that shit's what's going on they got the costumes down and tomorrow we're gonna see the trailer this trailer has to be good there's so many people out there that's thinking that this movie is not gonna do good we got you know and then they keep bringing up james swan as a producer Throwing us all the movies that he produced. And I know he has a good track record, but the director is a director that uh, we don't know what else he, this is his first time directing. So it's, it's, a, it's hard to tell if this movie's going to be good. So we really need to see that trailer. We really need to see the trailer. And it's going to be a red band trailer, a red band trailer. So it's going to be, I mean, it's gonna, we're going to see some gory shit. And that's what I want to see. I want to see some gory shit. I want to see some blood. I want to see like maybe at least one fatality. I want to see Scorpion just get over here. Some shit like that. I don't know. But let me know what you guys think down in the comments below. Are you excited as I am for this trailer? What do you guys think of the posters? Do you guys like the costumes? Um, please make sure to like. It really helps out the channel a lot. And we already beat 
we already passed our 30 sub goal so that's crazy so thank you guys so much until next time i'm out of here see you on the next one